You are listening to the Get Global Network podcast of the Ask Avani Show. You can hear the show live on Saturdays at 3 p.m. in London, 9 a.m. Central Time in the U.S. on SoMetro Radio, one of the original member stations of the Get Global Network. And welcome, everybody. This is the Ask Avani Show right here on Sony Metro Radio. Yes, Saturday afternoon, your regular slot with me, your UK soul queen diva, live from London Town, UK. Welcome, everyone, wherever you may be, US, UK, around the world. We are loving the love. Yes, oh my goodness, I would like to tell everybody that the show is simulcasting, broadcasting live across other radio stations as well, which are all part of the Get Global network and i would like to say a good afternoon to k rose program director good morning good afternoon avani how are you doing uh, oh my god k rose <laughs> well you know in the world of crazy because things always happen and there's all sorts going on but yes technical difficulties and all sorts of things but we just rise above and you know what that is very apt for today's show topic i must say this to you k rose because today's show topic is depression in women Women are always seen as strong, but are they too good at hiding it when they may be feeling depressed? And are women so busy being superwoman and caring for others that their mental health is being overlooked? Now, that is the question that I am posing today, k What do you think of that? I, I think that, as a man, I cannot <laughs> answer for the <laughs> millions of women around the world, but I can um, answer uh, according to my response to the pressures that women have because I have a lovely wife. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes the stress is very apparent, is it not? We juggle so many things. It's not, in actual fact, we are superwoman. I'm just going to put that out there. I am waiting for somebody to do my avatar and to give me that costume. Let <laughs> <laughs> me get that. I'm just, yes. But they're going to have to make sure that they draw me correctly, Carol, because I am juicy delicious. I just need to let everybody know. Well, you know, I have a question before we get deep, deep, deep into this show. Uh-huh. I, I, being from the States, you being from the UK, there has been a tremendous amount of attention on your country in the last, I guess, it's 24, 48 hours, I guess. <laughs> I was like, we would. Okay, got it. <laughs> and, and it. And it actually, it fits into the show for today okay. because my personal opinion is that what is going to happen is actually going to affect the rest of the it's going to affect people that are there it's going to affect um women and men and so i guess my question is going to be for those that are listening and may not know what i'm talking about uh, i'm talking about the the brexit vote that happened in uh, the UK. And just so that uh, we kind of keep everybody on track, the Brexit vote is something that is going to affect um, all of us around the world. It, it's going to affect um, Avani. It's going to affect the um, people of, of Great Britain, which includes Scotland and Northern Ireland. It's going to affect the um, European Union and the other member states of the European Union. And Avani's show subject today is is great because it really is going to be, I guess the best word is appropriate, because there are going to be several people that, several people, there are going to be millions of men and women for that matter, but they're going to be affected by the the vote and just to to put this in a nutshell brexit basically is just a short terminology for the um brexit is a short terminology for the basically 
Great Britain's decision to either stay in the European Union, and the European Union is basically, in Navani, if I'm putting this incorrectly, just tell uh-huh. me. But the European Union is the um, basically the organization that controls trade and borders, and and they even do security for most of the countries in Europe and the UK and the UK even though it is separate from the the actual body the continent of Europe all those countries Germany and France and Italy and um you know Austria all these countries <clears throat> are linked through the European Union mm-hmm. and with that said the UK decided they didn't want to be part of that union of <laughs> country <laughs> well, they had a vote it was democratic yeah yeah we did have the vote yeah and 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 unfortunately i will say this because uh, i voted to remain i'm just going to let it be known i voted to remain but they just picked us at the post with the leave vote so yes that means we have to leave because the government said they would accept whatever the uk wanted to do so that means we have to leave and uh yeah so basically uh, i think a lot of people for those that left i mean again i could be wrong but i personally think a lot of it is because people have been getting so fed up with all the immigration things and saying that people come into the country and those that are in the country are suffering because if people can get workers in that they can pay less then you know oh well, and, and that's something I, I, I think that part of it and we're gonna we're not gonna go deep into this today i think we're gonna have to do a special <laughs> edition yes of this, but I just wanted to touch on it because it happened, and and we have someone that's running for president who gets off his jet mm-hmm. and doesn't even acknowledge what's going on. Really, you know, he he's in Scotland, and Scotland voted basically, basically almost two to one to stay in the union. Mm-hmm. He gets off his jet yesterday morning, and he's oblivious to what it really means and what it means <laughs> to the world. He is just we such he's crazy. <laughs> He don't care anyway, so he's just going to carry on about his merry way. But you see, the thing that I was always surprised about with him, just touching on it, is that, oh, yeah, he's had all these wives. But the women in his life, even with all the money, I'm not being funny, they still look stressed. And I don't know whether that's just him and his foolishness, but I, getting back to today's show topic, came. And I agree. Thank you, because I just wanted to touch on that, because I, it would be, you know, it wouldn't be right if we didn't mention, you live in London. And so it's like, okay, we'll just ignore the... Uh, no, no, not at all, because, yeah, no, because that's a big thing, and it is going to cause a lot of people's stresses, and this is, again, alluding to today's show topic, because especially, obviously, if you're a single mother, let me just put it like that, obviously, there's single fathers, too, I'm not leaving you guys out, because we know that you're out there, and you're all doing your thing, and trying to do your, what's right for you and your family, but I'm telling you, the reason I want to concentrate more on women today is because it seems that we are deemed to be and we have shown that we can be superwoman okay which is and we are strong we are intelligent we are independent we are talented we are creative and trust me we have had to do a lot of creative accounting in many years especially when the recession you know and i'm praying to god there ain't another one because that's just gonna now we don't want to go down that you know rabbit hole again but you see this is why even when we are doing all this fabulousness we are sometimes also depressed you see so this is the thing i want to bring out today i i'm i'm hoping that especially in this type of situation you know when you know economics starts getting involved that can be one of highest causes of stress isn't it because you're worrying how am i going to pay the bills and how am i going to do this i know we have touched on this before people i know this but these things keep coming back so because here on the ask a show we just you know this is how we do we keep it real and we keep it in the moment we are up to date with said topics so this is why i thought you know what i want to highlight it again because there's a lot of mental health issues and things like that that people are starting to realize you have to talk about and that's like part of the first thing you have to be able to say, yeah, I'm struggling, I need help. And it's not, you, you shouldn't be ashamed to say, I need help, I'm struggling, because we're all human. And if things are getting on top, as we say over here, it's like, how, what do you do? If you sit there and just, you can't put your head in the sand like an ostrich and just say, oh, no, I ain't going to deal with it. Because, hello, it's going to come to you whether you're planning on dealing with it or not. It's there kind of thing. But if you've got these stresses, mental health issues as well, that's probably going to get worse because of the actual stress that you're going through, isn't it? 
that's basically it's a a, a domino type thing. It, it it causes something small can mushroom into being something big, or it can cause bigger cause bigger problems if you're not preparing for it and you're not seeking help to help handle it. Mm, absolutely. I mean, and, and I, I said it. Well, where I'm not being funny, but society. I, I, obviously, I, I exclude you from these camos. But society, it seems they expect women to be everything to everyone. You know, wife, mother, employee, businesswoman, the cook, the cleaner, on and on and on. All this other stuff that we're expected to just do and we're expected to just know. And it's like I ain't being funny. But when do you find the time to have some? you know, R and R for yourself. Because if you don't come up to scratch when you're supposed to have all these hats on and you start struggling as a woman, then okay, society's gonna say, Oh well, you know, you're you're not good enough and you're useless and then obviously that compounds it because you feel bad already and then you get stressed out and then, then you know, it's easy to see why sometimes women feel that they can't speak out because we're expected to just quote unquote be able to do it all and get on with it without needing a break and you're just going to keep struggling on in silence but please do not do this this is what we're trying to say today you know because i must i wanted to say this out as well because especially for in the black community we know people don't talk about depression do they they don't like to talk about mental health and link free caros depression and the black woman you know black superwoman syndrome now i i when i saw this article I was like, do you know what? That is so true. Because when people say, oh, yeah, superwoman, <laughs> they they expect you. You're not supposed to bat an eyelid at nothing. You're supposed to just do it all. And it's like, okay, well, yeah. And don't get me wrong. Like I said earlier, we can. And we do probably do, you know, everything more or less. And if we, and in my book, if I, if I literally can't do it, look, I'm going to have to pay someone. But at least I know how to, you know, find that person in the phone book and say, please help me out. <laughs> you know, but, <laughs> but for most things, you just got to struggle on your own, isn't it? Well, but, but that, and we really, I think, my personal opinion, I think we have to make sure that we we define a little bit about people and circumstance because there are people that handle those stresses a little bit better than other people or yes. a lot better than other people. And you because I personally know you, uh-huh. you are handling stresses daily uh, that may uh, cause someone else to be more than depressed and, uh, and contemplate doing something that's really, really scary. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. so you, you have to, as part of the conversation, mm. talk about the people that how they handle stress and their mentality about it, just like you said, in our community, in the black community, we try to we think that you are really really bad or really really has something wrong with you if you go to seek help and talk to a yeah, counselor it's like no you yeah really we don't do bad. that please people if you feel like you just want to stand there and scream just please be as you guys say get in your feelings and just do it because if that helps you to just lit up some of that you know frustration then just you can do that because listen i listen let me tell you okay right i do that let me just tell you i'm gonna tell everybody here i do it there's regular times i'm sitting there and it's just like Aah! start screaming because you just <laughs> but once i've done it i feel better now so <sighs> and breathe again i am back you know back in the room <laughs> sometimes you just have to let it out and and no one ain't supposed to tell you how to feel because listen they ain't in your space to know what's going through your mind and what you're having to deal with because like you said and this is another thing i must say as well please don't ever be red eye or jealous about what someone else has got because i've said this before you do not know what they are having to do to get it and you definitely don't know what they may be having to do to keep it and they may be better at making it look good and easy you know and then that's why you're drawn to it because you think ah that's easy i can do that because whoever it is is making it look easy i stress look easy it ain't easy people this life is not easy especially when you're doing a lot of things or all sorts of things on your own you are on your own there ain't no one else that can is gonna hold you know hold you up when you start to fall no sort of thing and how many times you might feel can i keep getting up i'm tired i don't want to keep trying to get up but you you, especially if you've got kids and stuff you ain't got no choice because who else is going to do it well and i think if the spirit had meant for quote man to be alone and not be together with a person if he didn't think we should have couples you know on this earth it would have only been one you know i guess one gender and you know 
<laughs> you just be alone your whole life. Yeah. And but I think part of the world, or let's see, no, I won't even just say it just from a gender related thing. He would have just had basically he.